Hey everyone, it's Andrew, and welcome to our Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Book 2. So here's the thing, I am not affiliated in any way with the publisher, I didn't get paid and don't get paid for any of this to date, I just made it a New Year's goal to see if I could practice what I preach. So it's real important to do that as a guitar instructor. I found that in doing this, and I really hope you do too, I found that I went into it with certain deficiencies in my playing that were impacting me musically. So you're gonna see a difference in my early videos in this, uh, in this video, my early exercises, and my later ones, I think you'll have to agree I emerged a better player, and I know that you will as well. It's not an easy series of books, and it does require music reading. If you've not completed Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Book 1, check it out. But if you're already able to read the guitar music in the open position uh, pretty fluently, then this book is a great place for you. I know it did wonders for my playing. I hope it does wonders for your playing as well. Actually, I know it will. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first exercises. A rhythm review. One, two, three, four. accompaniment for those above exercises, two, three, four.
Senorita, 76 beats a minute, andante, one, two, one, and two. The Gauchos, one and two. Alternate picking etude on uh, page six, open position key of C. One and two and three and four and. Two, three, and four, and...
leapfrog. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Tarantel. One, two, one, two. Barcelona. Starting in F, page 10, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and...
So here we have the three primary chords in the key of F found on page 11 of the Modern Method Book 2. This one is a little bit of a sticky situation. Uh, first we have the F chord, which um, takes several months to learn in some cases. Some people are able to just get the F chord immediately, and some people it can take weeks or even months. Some individuals run away from the F chord and never learn it at all. Um, and so they'll avoid any songs in the key of F and uh, avoid songs in the key of C that may go to an F chord. It's a sticky situation. So we have here one of the major challenges of guitar playing, but it's also one of the most rewarding because upon learning the F chord, you have the ingredient for most uh, of pop music. And you know, you'll be able to play tunes in the key of C. You'll be able to play tunes in the key of F. And uh, other keys as well. Tunes in the key of B flat. So, what's going on with the key of F here? Well, you have here um, a chord which I would say has a very similar fingering to the key of C in that you have a rooted ring finger, a major third located under the middle finger, and um, at least an interval of a fifth uh, here, if not maybe another root under the first finger. So just as you play a C as follows, you take those two fingers of C, go ahead and pop them down a string each. So you're taking those two fingers from strings five and four and you're popping them down two strings, four and three, and there you have your F chord. Now, what's going on in the back of the neck is to uh, be sure that rather than creating a terrible vice grip with your hand, um, you're gonna find the best thing to do is try to arrange your thumb of your fretting hand exactly between the two fingers you use for F, the middle finger and the ring finger. So by applying that pressure point right there, and remember that you can pull the guitar towards your body just a little bit. Most people, when they're trying to play the F chord, are just trying to push their thumb into the neck and they go, and that guitar is just, by the time you're struggling with F and then it gets out here and you're just so frustrated. So remember, you can pull that guitar neck towards you just a little. And between the slight pressing of the thumb on the back of the neck and the slight pull towards you, you're gonna get that F chord. All right, that's our first primary chord, our tonic. Now, um, our subdominant chord here in the key of F would be called the four chord, and it's B flat. Now, this one is a tricky situation as well because in this chord, if you've been following along in the book series, you'll know the names of your notes, F, D, B flat, and F. Well, the root of our chord, which is typically the lowest sounding note, now nah, it's not right here, it's string three. So you make your B flat chord on fret F, D, B flat, and F. And what you have here is a root on string three. Well, it's not super helpful, but that's what we're uh, going with here in our method book. And then here for the dominant chord called the five chord, we're going to be playing a C seven chord. You're just gonna be making your tried and true C chord and adding that pinky to string three. Now, my friends, if you're playing the C chord and you hear this sound, well, my advice to you is to pretend you have a, a grapefruit or a tennis ball in your hand and maintain that arc. And you want your left hand, just, just if you've ever seen a piano player, um, you know, and the way you're supposed to play piano is with your wrists raised and as if you're holding a little tennis ball or a sphere in each hand. Right, well, that's, this, is, this is upside down piano, the guitar, okay? So we have here a C chord, and you may have to slightly overshoot your target. So if your target is string five fret three, you see, if I'm right on string five fret three, string five is great, but string four is. So my trick is to just sneak that finger up and press. Yeah, you do have to press to get that knuckle to pop up as perpendicular as you can. Those are some tricks. Just overshoot your target note by just a hair's width there and you have some clarity. 
Now, don't feel discouraged if you're having a tough time with chord clarity. It takes time. And hey, um, if you see or hear somebody out playing somewhere and they're really strumming away like, and they have like a bad note going, nobody's ever gonna know, okay? So, let's proceed. We have now the chords in the key of F on page 11. Accompaniment styles, top line, measures one through four. I'm not gonna do the repeats, I'll leave that to you. One, two, three, four. Measures five through eight. One, two, three, four. two, three-quarter time, three-four time, alternating bass, one, two, three. Last line, two-four time, alternating bass, you're going to hear the, the uh, bass note uh, go... One and two and... Study in F, page 14. One, two, three.
Solitude, Kiev, page 16. One, two, three, four. Happy Farmer, a one, two, three. The D minor scales, harmonic, one, two, three, four. Melodic, one, two, three, four. Etude in D minor, page 17 of the Modern Method, starting in the harmonic minor and moving to the melodic minor.
accompaniment styles in D minor, please notice we have three chords. The primary chord being D minor, the secondary chord being G minor, and the third chord being A7. That's the dominant. Now I do want to point out to you that the G minor on page 18 of this book is you are told to play it with your thumb over the top of the guitar. This is not typical of classical style. Um, yeah, it, you may see it in jazz. Uh, I'm not accustomed to it, but we're going to give it the old college try. Uh, exercise one, here are the first four measures of common time. One, two, three, four. Exercise two, now we're moving on to the second four measures in common time with an alternating bass. A two, three, four. Okay, this exercise is in 3-4 time, and we are starting with the D minor, and yes, in measure 1 we will have string 4 as the D uh, bass note, and on measure 2 we shall have string 5 as the alternating bass, the A. Alright, in uh, the case of the G minor, we will have the thumb over for the G bass, alternating with the string 4 open, and the A7, we're going to be having the string 5 open bass, followed by the string 6 open bass. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. four time D minor alternating bass D minor G minor and A7 1 and 2 and Balkan Moon, one, two, three. Finger Gymnastics, top of page 19. Alternating picking, keeping the finger down, which is marked by an X in the notation. Training the individual fingers to perform independently of each other, and acquainting you with the technique of position playing that will be an important part of this course of study. Please hold the first finger down throughout these exercises.
duet in D minor. Duet in D minor. and exercise in thirds. Notes on the fifth fret. A. String two, E. String three, C. String four, G. String five, D. String six, A. The third's in the key of G. should be memorized. Part 2. 
Long in D minor, slow, one, two, three.
one, two, three.
two and. two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, and it's important to know the F sharp is located on string one fret two. And we'll play that with the index finger, and the C sharp is on string two fret two. And we'll play that with the index finger. That means we are going to have to assign the middle finger here to G, and the middle finger here to D, and the pinky on the string one fret five, high A. But don't forget, down on string six, we've got the F sharp. And on string five, we've got the C sharp. And on string four, we've got the F sharp. So this is a hybrid position of open and second position. The D major scale, two, three, four. Exercise. One, two, three, four. Exercise one, two, three, four. Accompaniment styles in the key of D major. The chords are D major, G major, A7, and D. Accompaniment style one. One, two, three, four. Four time accompaniment style three. One, two, three. line a two four time a one two one and 
too. And Cielito lindo. A one, two, three. The second position extends from the second to the fifth frets. In the second position, the first finger is responsible for and will cover the second fret. The second finger will cover the third fret. The third finger will cover the fourth fret. And the pinky, the fourth finger, will cover the fifth fret. Notes in the second position are as follows. String six, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, string five, B, C, C sharp, D, string four, E, F, F sharp, G, string three, A, B flat, B, C, string
string two, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. String one, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. When practicing the position studies that follow, it's important that you use the fingering just as we played it. The major keys played in the second position are G, D, and A. Now we're moving on, so there will be no open strings. Let's complete the scale of D major in the second position. Second position etude, number one, key of D. One, two, three, and four, and... He's got the whole world in his hands. Key of D. One, two, three. in the key of D. Drink to me only with thine eyes. One, two, three.
in the key of B minor. Thank you. 
that's in B minor. One, two, three. <laughs> Italian waltz, no repeats.
Prelude.